Well, next up on Encounter, it's our Survey Says segment. Each month we take a look at a current survey that you might find interesting. And with the new administration in and the new Congress back at work, we thought we'd take a look at the faith makeup of this 115th Congress. According to a new analysis by Pew Research, the U.S. Congress is about as Christian today as it was in the early 1960s. Among members of the new 115th Congress, 91% describe themselves as Christians. This is nearly the same percentage as in the 87th Congress from 1961 to 1962. Among the 293 Republicans elected to serve in the new 115th Congress, all but two identify as Christians. Democrats in Congress are also overwhelmingly Christian, about 80 percent. But there is more religious diversity on this side of the aisle. The 242 Democrats in Congress include 28 Jews, three Buddhists, three Hindus, two Muslims, and one Unitarian Universalist. As well as the only member of Congress to describe themselves as religiously unaffiliated, in all 10 members of Congress who declined to state their religious affiliation are Democrats. Like the nation as a whole, Congress has become much less Protestant over time. The total percentage of Protestants in Congress has dropped from 75% in 1961 to 56% today. During this period, the share of Catholics in Congress has gone from 19% to 31%. 67% of Republicans in the new Congress are Protestant, while 27% are Catholic. On the Democratic side, 42% of the Democratic members are Protestants and 37% are Catholics. The analysis finds that some religious groups, including Protestants, Catholics, and Jews, have greater representation in Congress than in the general population. Jews, for example, make up 2% of the U.S. adult population, but account for 6% of Congress. The group that is most notably underrepresented is the religiously unaffiliated. This group, also known as religious nuns, now accounts for 23% of the general public, but just 0.2% of Congress. Thanks again to the Pew Research Center for those numbers. Last month we took a look at the religious breakdown of the electorate, so this month it was interesting to see the religious breakdown of Congress.